What's up everybody, I am Mongoose, you are awesome, and I've always wanted to try and make a video game style hooking weapon. So I did. From the days of playing Scorpion in Mortal Kombat, all the way to landing them big dick pulls with Richter in Paragon, I've loved playing video game characters that can hook people in and dish out the damage. I finally got around to making a hook of my own. I'm starting out with a steel pipe. I'm only going to use about two feet of it. To begin with, I'll take a die grinder with a 5 inch cutoff wheel and cut the pipe at an angle to create a sharp spike. Then I'll just cut the back end off and I'll have all the material I need. I'm securing the pipe in a drill stand. I'm not actually going to use the drill because it doesn't work. I will use a drill with a quarter inch bit to put a hole in the back end of the spear. I'll put a bolt through the hole towards the end of the build that will both secure the fins and the chain. Now I need to cut out grooves in the back for the fins to fit into. I had planned on using a sawzall with a metal cutting blade, but I forgot the sawzall at work so I'll just use the die grinder again. This creates a bit of a problem because the heat created by the die grinder will warp the metal. I'm going to make the fins out of stainless steel. This is flashing normally used as backing behind a stovetop. I'm going to cut an 8x8 inch square, again reluctantly using the die grinder instead of a sawzall or a jigsaw. I will then cut the square in half. Now I'll cut a groove halfway through each square and fit the two together. The fins don't quite fit so I need to make the cuts in the spear a bit longer. Now that the fins are fitted I'll insert a bolt through the hole we drilled through the loop of a chain and secure it with a nut. This will simultaneously keep the fins from sliding out the back and secure the chain to the spear. I'll finish it all off by attaching a grinding wheel to the die grinder and sharpening the tip and the sides of the point. I didn't get footage of it but I also cut a triangular piece out and bent it to serve as the hooking portion. Now let's throw this thing at some shit. I figured I should take some practice shots at a bell of hey first. That's what gay horses eat if you never heard that joke. The chain I attached was 15 feet long and I sorely overestimated how long 15 feet was. The chain came out of my hand, flipped up and hit me in the tip of my dick. I'm just glad it wasn't my sack or I'd still be on the ground crying. After a few throws at the hey I've got it so let's move on to some other stuff. I created a block of ballistic gelatin from a recipe I found online. I don't think it's as strong as the real stuff, but it'll have to do. First shot is a miss. Richter, I am not. Second shot is dead on and goes completely through the gel. I did not expect that at all. Now let's back up and see if we can pull the gel towards us. Nope, it just popped right out. So, 50% successful? Anyway, let's hit some more shit. Honey do? More like honey don't. Classic Caesar? Et tu, Brute. Watermelon? Um, fuck you. Oh, I'm out. I'm gonna make this watermelon its own Tinder profile. I shook up this two liter of root beer. It's like the third two liter of soda I've destroyed today, but my camera keeps overheating and I didn't get a lot of the footage. The, inter the interesting thing here is that I didn't get a straight on hit this time, but the fins did cut a hole in the bottle. I should cut the fins at an angle and sharpen them up. I think that would be uh, an improvement that I can make. Alright, final boss pineapple. This is again the second pineapple I've done today. The first one was the only thing the hook actually worked on. First shot hit it in the dome, but not enough to stick. Second shot hits, but doesn't penetrate deep enough, which is another design flaw here. The middle of this pipe is now clogged up with like various melons and pineapple chunks and bits of plastic and all sorts of shit is in the middle of this pipe. So that's something I need to look into resolving. Well, that's all for now, folks. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. If you miss Richter as much as I do, he should be making his return in both Predecessor and The Core. Not sure if you could play him in Overthrow or not. Uh, in any case, I'll link all their discords down in the video description. If you do check them out, Hit them with a big old man goose and let them know who sent you. For now, this is Mongoose signing off. You guys have a good one.
Mangoo!